Yo, what's going on guys? It is your boy Cecil here. I'm on the internet and I found some viral TikToks when it comes down to like some text effects, some cool like graphical stuff, but I just want to learn some stuff. Basically all the ones that I ended up choosing, I just did not know how to do. So I just basically want to share it with you guys and let's just do it together and enjoy your time. If you guys want to see me do this again, please let me know in the comments below, but uh, let's just jump into it. Also a really quick little selfish plug is selfie.com. So HQ, if you guys check out the everything pack, I don't know how many guys did not actually know about it. The first, the one I said this like two weeks ago, something like that, you guys are like going crazy with the sales. So very much so appreciate we're almost at like 4,900 sales in total. But yeah, it's basically one person of $30 to get everything on my selfie.com store, along with all the other products that come out for free through your email. If you guys opt in, don't forget to opt in. And uh, yeah, it's just pretty sick, no matter what the price is. So if you, know, if you buy it for 30 bucks, you know, three, two years later, two weeks later, two days later, whatever, I come up with a new product, you guys get it for free. So don't forget to check it out. And uh, let's hop into the video. All right, guys, so let's start off with the design by Raph with this mind-blowing, amazing text effect in Photoshop. This, this better blow my mind. We start off pretty simple with a text. We merge it together with the background. I'm guessing that's pretty important. We go ahead and kind of like circle these things. Feather. Okay, this guy definitely does not know about Field Blur, but that's okay. We might figure this one out. We might, we might be able to speed this TikTok up for him. A little bit of Gaussian Blur. So then we're going to make a duplicate. We're going to put the duplicate on Multiply. Filter gallery grain. It looks like he's putting his grain type on vertical. Intensity at 50, contrast at 80. Oh, I can actually see a lot of like more like, I guess apparel kind of people really enjoying this effect, but let's try it out. So one thing he ended up doing was actually making like a, he merged together. He did like a circling thing, all that stuff, but I actually might be able to speed this up. So we're gonna right click, convert to smart object. We're gonna go to where it says filter blur gallery, use field blur, pretty much exactly what he did. So we're gonna make some little field blur points, point over here. So, so something like this, right? We're gonna put some of these at like really high blur amounts because obviously we wanna actually have that effect look pretty good. So we're gonna press okay. Now what was pretty important was the background layer was had a white background too. So we're gonna press control J to duplicate them. Control E to merge together. Then control J again to merge together. So now we have the same exact copy with a white layer behind it. We're gonna go to multiply and then go to filter, filter gallery. And we're gonna choose grain. He used grain type on vertical. The intensity was on 55. And then the contrast was on around, yeah, right here. So like 55, 90 or so like that, right? I mean, this is actually kind of sick. Uh, it looks like if you put the contrast down, the contrast actually kind of focuses more on the white, where if you put it up, it focuses more on the black, which kind of how the effect kind of works. I mean, overall, here's a, here's a cool thing he didn't show how to do as well. Uh, my guess to actually extract this, we're gonna go to where it says select color range. We're gonna click and then make sure our fuzziness is on 0%. Press okay. We're gonna go over to a solid color. Boom, and then just press okay. I mean, watch this, boom. Now we have a nice, simple, solid code. So you can actually scale this pretty far up and pretty far down with actually losing quality. I mean, it's a good effect. It's nothing too crazy, nothing too bad, but it's actually pretty freaking dope. Let's uh, let's check out the next one. Okay, so this next one here has 1.1 million views. It looks pretty sick from the thumbnail itself. Let's just, let's just, let's check it out. Okay, so Selena, right? It looks like a pretty good effect, step one. Okay, step two, rasterize, or not, not rasterize, smart objects, a little Gaussian blur, these Gaussian blurs, man, we're going nuts with this. A little motion blur, and then a, okay, liquefy, that's it, that was it. I looked actually a little more complicated, given the fact that the thumbnail looked actually a little more complicated, actually pretty simple. Um, For 1.1 million, god dang, Selena, you're going nuts. Okay, let's give this a shot. Okay, so it looks like first step, of course, is getting our text ready, then our second step was smart objects. Then we're gonna filter blur Gaussian blur. I'm just a little more feathered on the edges. Okay, boom. So I'm gonna use five for myself. And then another Gaussian blur, no motion blur. And then, oh, don't forget, we're gonna use some liquify. So filter liquify. We're gonna take this nice and slow, right? Nothing too, nothing too dramatic. That was dramatic, but maybe a little slower, you know, just a little something like that. So yeah, I mean, the last thing she probably did like a little bit for the actual like presentation was just add a little bit of noise, right? I mean, not nothing too crazy. I mean, that's what she did. So I mean, it's a pretty simple effect, pretty cool effect itself. You can probably definitely use some like other kind of like something to it. Oh, what if he did the same thing from before? Like what if we actually 
you know, did the whole thing from the first effect. It doesn't really work, but it's whatever that one is. What if we just try different effects? So, you know, we can combine effects as well. We get this really cool effect right here. We're kind of combining effects as well. We, we take that. I mean, honestly, Slater, you killed this. I mean, 1.1 million, that was freaking sick. Yeah, I mean, it's nothing too crazy. Let's just, let's just go on to the next one. All right, so our next TikTok is by Art by Freddy. It looks to see like we have some like, it's like a stroke kind of thing. Oh, it definitely was text. So a smart object, a little Gaussian blur on it, a gradient map. It's kind of doing this like black to white zebra effect kind of thing. It's kind of sick, actually. Nice little gradient map on top of it to add some color. Distort, zigzag. Okay. I mean, it's not too bad to do. It's not too hard either. Let's just give it a shot. So first thing I did was right click convert object on the word. I'm going to put my, my, my word is dope this time. We're going to go to, of course, blur, blur gallery. What was the blur gallery at actually? Okay, so you put 23 pixels. We're going to do the same exact thing at around 23 press okay then we're gonna add that gradient map down here so boom we're gonna click on this gradient map we're gonna do black and then white it does look like he takes this first node here moves it over to the left that way we get more of this kind of like you know less fill in the middle which i kind of like a lot okay and of course again another gradient map just like over here we're gonna use like a nice color like a blue or let's uh, let's, let's use like an orange actually okay and now we're gonna go over here and go to filter distort and then zigzag and i'm gonna zigzag it not too much like 14 or so honestly it's not that bad whatsoever i mean realistically there's no real point where i would use this past like maybe like the the street wary culture kind of vibes that kind of has that kind of feeling toward it right realistically the one thing i want to say for sure is like that effect with the gradient map itself is like one of the you know you can take that itself and then move that along with a different a lot of different things for sure also what does it look like really quick with like a nice little texture right I'm, let me let me see let me see let me see i mean yeah look at the texture it goes a long way look at the inside it kind of changes a lot too that's pretty sick i don't know i would i would do i would give this a shot okay so for our last text effect it's actually not even viral it has what does it have 2162 views at this very moment in time 139 likes it's called the half tone line text effect in photoshop i was scrolling really quick to see if i can find some more text effects and i saw this one it wasn't viral but i saw like the first 10 seconds it looked like a technique and then i did not know so he's blowing off a letter right he takes like a line pattern of some sort he's a little bit of gaussian blur a little a little lower the opacity on the actual letter oh and then threshold hey yo that's actually super freaking dope. That's actually pretty simple. Okay. Okay, let's try that. He has a big old M. I have a 100 for mine. I'm going to press play again. We're going to go ahead and right click, convert to smart object, and again with the Gaussian blurs. Yo, if anyone's out there trying to try to find new effects, as long as you Gaussian blur, you're doing something right. So at 45 pixels or so, we're not going to do too much like that. We're going to do maybe like 35. We don't want to like go crazy, right? He might be in a different dimension. So I'm going to say 35 is pretty good for me. Then he has a line pattern. Oh, oh, I got this. Watch this. Selfie.com, so switch Q, the pattern pack. By the way, the best thing ever. Uh, didn't use this on purpose, by the way. We have the pattern overlay. I thought this was actually, I have this pattern pack from since 2001. I thought it was default. When I got to my new computer, I was like questioning life. And I've used this for like literally my entire life. And I just kept on adding to it. So let's say like 77 is pretty okay. We're gonna press okay. I'm gonna rasterize this or use a smart object and boom. Perfect, now I got my line texture. He also went ahead and blurred the actual line texture as well at around five or so pixels, so not too much. Then we're gonna lower the opacity on the 100 and then we hop over here to the adjustments and use a threshold. And then I'm guessing if I move this, oh no, I gotta put that over everything, hold on. Over everything, oh! that's actually kind of fire it's also really trippy flash warning can we put a flash warning on this jay like before the video even starts this is actually kind of crazy and trippy so it seems like if you want to add like right here we got like not enough space if you go back to the gaussian blur and put it even down more we can actually fill that space even more in there so that's actually a really really dope technique honestly oh my eyes what is happening this is oh my lord hello is it an optical illusion if I stay at the 100 and make my eyes cross, if I look around the, 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 what the, if I look around my room, it has like texture on the wall. It's like messing with my eyes. Stare at it and then look around. Whoa. I'm getting kind of dizzy. Don't do this. His name is Panther Vision. That's a sick, sick effect. I can see myself using some other cool like techniques with this technique. I never even thought about doing this. It's actually really freaking dope. I'm gonna I'm I'm hold on to that one. That was actually kind of sick. Okay, so we're actually done with text effects. We're actually looking at some more graphical kind of effects. So we have Marge effect here with her half tone effect in Photoshop. So let's just let's pause for a second. Okay, you're on rasterize, you're grayscaling your image. Then you click on bitmap at 72. Zero angle five frequency. 
Hey, yo. That's kind of fire. I remember seeing someone in like an old video of mine, like a designer Al, he used like a bitmap effect. I thought it was actually a plugin. It might be, but it's actually doable inside Photoshop, which is obvious, but also didn't really know. I, I don't know. I want to try this out myself. Let's see. We're going to go ahead and go to image mode, grayscale it immediately. Now, one of the things I do notice for sure is my grayscale is a little bit too dark. So I'm going to go to levels for a second, up my darkness up like so, and then combine this together. Okay, so now we're going to go to image mode and now bitmap flat layers is nothing there but okay uh so we're gonna put our input and our output is on 72 that's what she did custom nope this is gonna be on half tone screen press okay she had on five frequency and zero angle okay and then our shape was on a round okay let's press okay so oh okay so here here's one thing i know immediately what i have to do so if we go to image mode bitmap press okay 72 is okay that's okay my frequency though i'm gonna put this at pretty high like at 65 zero angle still keep it on around because that's okay press okay now <gasps> that's actually so sick i have literally in my, my entire life have i ever clicked on the word bitmap in my entire life this is actually super sick what if i try like 30 or something like that yo this is actually so gas marge you are a clutch I'm gonna use this for sure in a campaign in the future. I have literally never, I always wanna do like some kind of like arcadey type of vibe. Nothing says arcadey more than literally 8 bit. I have literally never even tried to do something like this before, but I'm glad I actually ran into this. This was actually super sick. I'm taking this one up. I'm taking this one for sure. So, this is the last TikTok I have. I'm gonna, if I click on this, we have Jolly and she's doing motion portraits question mark. Yes, please. So we're gonna duplicate the layer. We're gonna select the subject, basically cut out the image. Okay. Then we're gonna apply the actual layer mask, make a duplicate, click on the one below it. Okay, make sure you load up your brush. There's no way that's how they did that. I thought this effect was actually done by using like the, like stretching out the pixels, then using like a warp tool. You can literally just use the mix brush. Wow, that's kind of sad that I didn't know that. Okay, I wanna try this out. Okay, so let's give this a shot, Jolly. So what it seems like, use a nice little smart object or select subjects to actually cut this baby out. All right, boom. So we're gonna layer mask that, apply the layer effect, make a duplicate, and I'm gonna attach the background back on, select the one below it. So the one in the middle is the one I'm gonna use. And then my brush, we're gonna use a mixer brush. We're gonna be on dry, heavy load. We're gonna be on zero wet and 100 load. <laughs> I'm a child, I'm literally a freaking child. We're gonna zoom in, hold alt on right here, just maybe not too big, like this, and then do a little swirl. <gasps> That's just gonna sink. So one thing's for certain, I know, oh, really? That's how they do that? One thing I want to say for sure really quickly is on my brush settings, I do have one spacing. When I was using before, I was doing like 12 or 22 spacing. It looks like really bad like this. Well, let me show you. It looks like really, really bad. Make sure your spacing is on 1%. That way it actually makes it look really nice. So now I'm going to do the same thing over again over here. Oh, you, don't, you definitely don't want to stop when you do this. You want to kind of do it like, like one full motion and not move your mouse either. Something like that. I mean, yeah, I mean, this is this is working. That literally works. She does end up adding some shadows to it as well by using like a new layer, clip mask to it, right? And we just add a little bit of shadow like this. Oh, wait, that's the wrong, that's the wrong tool. Little brush tool though. We're kind of just adding in some shadows, makes it look a little more realistic. I didn't know that's how you do that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take that and, and like put that in my little memory bank. That's actually really freaking dope. Honestly, we went over some pretty freaking cool TikToks. I mean, we went some over some like text effects, some graphical effects, that bitmap effect I'm 110 billion percent using for certain. I mean, even this last one we just did, I still have it on my screen right here in front of me. Like even the little, the swirly thing, I didn't know how you, that's how you do that. If you guys want me to like scavenge the internet a little bit more, even have Jay over here over here, just like scavenge the internet, go look at some more effects and bring back another video of me doing some viral TikToks, let me know, cause I'm down to do it. You just let me know. But with that being said, since we're HQ out, we're gonna keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking proto guys. Let me watch love. Peace. And uh, yeah, enjoy your day.